In this video, let us continue solving problems based on volume of sphere. The question reads like this. A solid sphere of radius 3 cm is melted and then cast into small spherical balls each of diameter 0.6 cm. Find the number of balls obtained. Okay, now how do we approach this problem? This problem is nothing but a solid sphere of radius 3 cm is basically melted and then it is cast into small spherical balls each of diameter 0.6 cm. Now, we have to find the number of balls obtained. So here the key is the volume of the solid sphere of radius 3 cm should be equal to how many ever balls that we make out of it because we have only so much melted solid and we can make only whatever is possible out of it. That means to say the volume of the solid sphere of radius 3 cm is equal to how many ever balls that we can make of diameter 0.6 cm. So the key here is to equal the volume of this solid sphere to how many ever times. Let us take it x number of balls is what can be made from it. So the volume of the solid sphere should be equated to x number of the spherical balls of diameter 0.6 centimeters in which we just have to find x. So this is the key. So now let us start solving the problem. Now let the total number of balls be x. Now the volume of the solid sphere is given by 4 by 3 pi r cube which is nothing but 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 pi is 22 by 7 radius is 3 centimeters so r cube is 3 into 3 into 3. So we have 1, 3 and 1, 3 getting cancelled and the result is 36. Let us take 22 by 7 as pi itself. So 36 pi centimeter cube. Since we have to equate it anyways, let us keep it as pi. Now, finding the volume of the spherical ball, we've got the diameter but we need the radius now. So therefore, the radius of spherical ball will be equal to 0.6 centimeter divided by 2 because radius is half of the diameter. So this is 0.3 centimeter. Now let us find the volume of the spherical ball which I'll write it as SB spherical ball. Volume of the spherical ball equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. So it's the it's same thing except that it's a smaller one. So it's 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into r cube will be 0.3 into 0.3 into 0.3 which on solving we get 36 pi by 1000 centimeter cube because you divide 0.3 by 10 and make it 3 so it will be 3 by 10, 3 by 10, 3 by 10 so on solving that you get 36 pi by 1000 centimeter cube so now here we have the volume, this is the volume of one spherical ball. So how many spherical balls are we going to make? We don't know. Let us, we've taken it as x. So the volume of x spherical balls, x number will be equal to 36 pi by 1000 into x centimeter cube. So now all we have to do is equate the volume of the spherical sphere that is 36 pi centimeter cube to x number of 36 pi by 1000 centimeter cube of spherical balls. Now we just have to find x here. 36 pi 36 pi gets cancelled. Centimeter cube centimeter cube gets cancelled. So x is 1000 that means we can make 1000 number of small spherical balls each of diameter 0.6 centimeters. So hence 1000 spherical balls are obtained by melting the given solid sphere. This ends this problem. Let us solve another one. Three solid spheres of iron whose diameters are 2 cm, 12 cm and 16 cm respectively are melted into single solid sphere. So this is kind of the reverse of the previous problem that we solved. The previous problem was breaking down a bigger sphere into smaller one. This is fusing the smaller ones into a bigger one. So we need to find the radius of the solid sphere using the available data here. So now here we need to first say that let the radius of the solid sphere be r centimeter. Then 
we have volume of the solid sphere. So the volume of the solid sphere, the bigger one that we are going to make, will definitely be sum of the volumes of these three solid spheres of radii 1 cm, 6 cm and 8 cm. Notice carefully here, the given thing is the diameter is 2 cm, 12 cm and 16 cm. I am talking about radii being 1 cm, 6 cm and 8 cm because radius is half the diameter. So we have volume of the single solid sphere as sum of the volumes of three solid spheres of radii one centimeter, six centimeter, and eight centimeter. So the bigger volume is four pi r cube by three or four by three pi r cube. That is the volume of the single solid sphere that we are going to get. So now the volumes of the solid spheres of radii 1 cm, 6 cm and 8 cm respectively will be 4 by 3 pi 1 cube plus 4 by 3 pi into 6 cube plus 4 by 3 pi into 8 cube. So we can cancel or before we go to that step let us solve another step. In all these three terms, we can see that 4 pi by 3 is the same. So let us take out 4 pi by 3 as common. We get 4 pi by 3 into 1 cube plus 6 cube plus 8 cube. So we can cancel 4 pi by 3, 4 pi by 3 on both sides. We get r cube equals 1 cube plus 6 cube plus 8 cube. So now we have r cube equals 1 cube is just 1. 6 cube is 6 into 6, 36. 36 into 6 is 216. 8 cube is 8 into 8, 64. 64 into 8 is 512. So the sum of all these gives us 729. So r cube is 729. So now 729 can be written in the form of a cube as 9 cube. 9 into 9 is 81. 81 into 9 is 729. So if r cube equals to 9 cube, then r will definitely be equal to 9 centimeters. So therefore, the radius of the single solid sphere that is so formed because of the fusing of the smaller three solid spheres is 9 centimeters. This ends this problem.